Hey guys, this is Stuart at River City Boats in Portland, Oregon. Today I'm going to be showing you Yamaha's new Next system. As you can see, it's conveniently located right off to the starboard side of the dash. It's got a nice sunshade up there, so it's easy to see in bright light, as I saw in the water the other day. It does have kind of a unique feature in that it's got a little joystick to control everything. And you can see why, because that touch screen is pretty far back there in the dash, so the joystick was definitely a good call. Let's turn her on and see how she looks. So this is your main screen. Right now it's giving me a low depth alarm. Easy to turn off. Just hit the little sound button and away it goes. Looks like on your home screen, the upper left, you've got your water temperature, your volume below that. And on the far right, you've got your depth. In the middle, you've got a couple things like your Latin lawn, your elevation, main time, and also a compass. We're in float mode right now because the boat's not up on plane, so it shows you all your basic info. And they've got several accesses to other screens in here. So we're going to go through to our next screen, give you a trip info. It's going to be your main screen that has all your vital information about the boat on it. Then the top is your average miles per gallon, miles per hour, and then your gallons per hour, and then your gallons you used. It shows you individually gallons per hour per motor, starboard and port, along with hours above that. You can reset this screen at any time by holding down the reset all button, and that will reset all of your settings and get you new numbers there. Also, the top left has your water temperature, which is kind of nice. Go to the music and the media side, you have access to all your stereo information, including a volume, station, choosing between Bluetooth, auxiliary, radio, USB, etc. Um, the volume is mainly controlled by the joystick down below. Just twist to turn it up and twist to turn it down. Pretty easy. Your next page is your lights. And on this you control everything, your tower lights, your navigation, anchor, dock, and it'll give you a little icon of what's on. So I hit nav lights, it'll show me that my bow lights and my anchor light are on. It also dims the screen when you do that. You can turn your docking lights on from here as well, and again an icon will show you what's on. On your system control page, this will show you everything that you have the option to turn on electronically. So you get your blower, you can set it to auto blower, shower, your bilge, or auto bilge. Uh, right now the bilge is on auto bilge, so it'll automatically pump out any water that's in there. You'll notice again, every page has your volume and your depth on it. In your settings page, you can go in here and you can change just about everything on the setup, from your time, the units, everything's measured in. Uh, you can reset it to the factory, um, and everything else in there. One of the nice things that Yamaha's done is they put some hard keys in here too. So if for some reason you can't use the touch screen or something like that, you have hard keys to run your bilge pump to get back to your trip odometer info, your system control, and to your lighting page. Additionally, there's a hard key for your horn. One well, of the other thing that's kind of nice, on the joystick there are some hard keys here as well. This is how you access your cruise and your no wake. So at any point, if you're in TDE, just hit the cruise button and you can speed up or down just like you're used to on the 1.8s with the little toggle switch. Up top you got a hard key for a home button, music, and you can also cancel to get back from any page that you're on. The joystick goes forward, backwards, and you can cycle through all the gauges. Also goes side to side and presses down. I know a lot of people are a little nervous about touchscreens and whatnot. This is not a Yamaha proprietary system. This is made by Murphy. Murphy makes well, a ton of different touchscreen systems for Malibu boats, for Regal boats. Uh, so they're, they're well established, easy to update, and really are pretty trouble free these days. So look forward to all these systems on the new 2015 AR240s and 242 Limiteds.